change the resolution. Um, I can show you that I can see that we're going to be able to do it. Uh, we work with Google uh, and uh, help them define the AEP standard. And Tegra K1 supports the AEP all of the box. And then Google, uh, you know, pushes out L, and then this is updated to L. This is totally, you know, compliant with all the AEP extensions. And developers can like start. Side are familiar that you know this looks very similar to the Samaritan that uh, Epic created when they launched UV code. And these characters are from that demo, and the modeling of the characters is identical to the Yeah, yeah. So, we, I mean, they showed off Android TV. Uh, they showed off it running on Tegra at uh, Google I.O. Um, so, absolutely, yeah, we'll support Android TV. You can use the right and left triggers to move up and down. Yeah, we have a We have a Yes. Going through multiple uh, UI levels. So, here I'm playing a game called Asphalt 8, which is an Android game. So, let me back off here. So, Twitch is integrated into the... Yes, so, exactly. So now let's say I want right. Not no, no it's, it has nothing to do with the game. So it's okay. all in the yeah. system. So I quickly long press my back button. It brings up a UI. Ah, so okay. in this UI, I can either broadcast to Twitch, or I can auto record, or I can like manually record or take a screenshot, mm -hmm. and then right. and now we have integrated <laughs> handwriting recognition with the stylus. So now if I'm in the browser uh, and I want to search for something, I no longer have to type it. I can just pull out my stylus and start scribbling stuff. So let me show you a quick demo of this. So, so by default, what happens is when you go into the search bar, you get a keyboard. And let's say you don't want to type and you want to scribble, you just long press the space bar and like enable handwriting recognition. And now it brings up a scribble pad where you can scribble in your search. So I type in FIFA, and it comes up with search results. I can go to the FIFA website to see what the latest scores are and what the latest news regarding FIFA. Uh, let me try something else. And, uh, and erase that. And you know, I can, it does a pretty good job with handwriting recognition, even like, like with my bad handwriting when I'm uh, scribbling stuff, it does a pretty good job of recognizing what I'm writing and uh, you know, brings up my search results. So you can use this feature uh, with searches, it's integrated into Evernote. So now when you like, you know, scribble in Evernote, uh, like typically what Evernote does is it takes your scribble, loads it up to the cloud and does the optical character recognition in the cloud and downloads the converted text. But with the like Shield tablet, you can do it on the device. It doesn't have to move back into the cloud. The, um, you know, it's actually getting absorbed into the paper and it's a totally, you know, random process where it's interacting with the paper. Now, uh, let me zoom in a little bit. Now let me zoom in and draw something here and we'll see how the paint is interacting with the paint. And if I turn on gravity, and let me pick a different mm -hmm. so it's a the other way around the world once Yes, exactly. Okay Google, who is Mario Godse? Mario Goza is playing for Germany in the World Cup. Here are his statistics. Okay, Google. Who is Miroslav Klose? Miroslav Klose is playing for Germany.